The Dalai Lama is backing efforts to save a Scottish cafe inspired by a promise a Tibetan woman made in almost 20 years ago. Rika Gawa, 39, opened the Himalaya Cafe in Edinburgh after a chance meeting with the spiritual leader at the Scottish Parliament in 2004. He asked her to stay in Scotland to promote their culture. The landlord is now selling the cafe, but Rika, who currently rents it, hopes to buy it to avoid closure. Rika was brought up in Masuri in India and moved to Denmark when she was 13. When she was 22 she moved to Edinburgh and got a job at the Scottish Parliament. And one day he said did I know the Dalai Lama was coming later that day and would I like to meet him as he knew I was Tibetan. She rushed home to put on her best traditional Tibetan dress, a blue chirpa dot she said, I was so excited and happy and nervous to meet him in person as I had only seen him in photographs and I called my parents in India to tell them. I waited for him in the lobby and then I could see him coming towards me and my heart was beating very fast, I was crying and tears were rolling down my face. Then suddenly he was standing next to me and he was holding my hands to comfort me because I was crying, they were tears of joy. The spiritual leader asked her where she was from and how long she had been in Scotland. She said, he said he wanted to give me some advice that it was very important to promote the Tibetan culture. I promised him I would stay here in Scotland and that it would be my first priority. It was like a dream. Rika decided she would find a way to open a Tibetan cafe in Edinburgh with a meditation room. In 2006, she left her catering position at the Scottish Parliament, and she established Himalaya Cafe in South Clerk Street in 2007. She said, I was walking in Newington and I saw a Gillette sign in the window. When the owners showed me inside I couldn't believe what a mess there was but I felt a strong feeling, a calling, and I knew I had to find a way to get the deposit so I could fulfill His Holiness wish. With help from friends she renovated the cafe. She said, they all did the work in exchange for food from me. If you have a good intention in your heart then good things happen. Rika has built up a strong community over the last 14 years at the cafe and has a meditation room downstairs, which anyone can use to meditate for free. The building which houses the cafe is now being sold as the landlord wants to retire. Rika said he had given her first refusal to buy the shop. She has taken out a bank loan and also borrowed money from her family and friends, but still needs to raise more by 1st December. Sonam Steering Farsi representative of the Dalai Lama in Northern Europe, Baltic States, and Poland, said the spiritual leader knew of the cafe and Rika's work to promote Tibetan culture. He added, I appreciate it very much that Rika has been promoting Tibetan culture in Scotland for many years and would like to see her cafe business uninterrupted, providing the taste of Tibetan food and tranquility to the Scots in Edinburgh. Rika added, I would feel sad if I couldn't save the cafe. It's my life's work and I want to keep my promise to His Holiness. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.